Now in this video I'm going to show you how to make some really cheap motorcycle luggage. Essentially these are what we call in the UK throw over panniers and literally as they say you throw them over the seat and optionally you can tie them at the bottom. Now the first step is to find yourself two preferably identical really cheap small rucksacks. Now these aren't all that small, they're medium sized and I'm going on a six day trip soon so I need the extra space. Now these are high tech rucksacks and they cost me around about seven English pounds which is about ten US dollars each. So it's pretty cheap compared to fifty or sixty pounds on regular bike luggage which is made out of roughly the same sort of quality nylon and this way you're going to get something that fits your bike. Now step one is to undo the straps at the back. So as you can see the strap comes apart and you're left with the strap at the bottom which is rather handy because you can tie things on with it. You can tie this onto the bike around the shock absorbers or whatever and these straps which are the ones that would go across your shoulder and what I've done is I've just laid it across my bike and I've marked where the other edge of the seat would come and taken off two inches now why have I taken off two inches because as sure as eggs are eggs things are going to stretch and then your panniers will go all droopy and you don't want that especially in the middle of a 800 mile round trip so that's the first thing to do the next thing to do is take a pair of kitchen shears or some other similar tough pair of scissors and cut them on both bags to the same length which in my case is to the inside of this tape here and what we're going to do is we're going to overlap these straps so you've got a double strap on each one and we're just going to sew them together and uh, I'll show you a bit about that in a minute I'll come back and uh, when, I've, when I've actually cut these and I've got a bit of thread out, use strong thread incidentally, doubled up and uh, you won't go wrong. So we're off to the next step. And the next step really isn't the sewing, it's, I forgot, basically is to tack them together. And um, tacking them together you can do in a number of ways. You can use pins or you can do what I do. I'm using contact adhesive and I'll just put a layer on each of the straps. I'm going to avoid the edges up here because that's where I'm going to stitch and I know from painful experience that trying to stitch through glue even if it's completely dry is not a good idea. It's very very difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line up there and a line up there and then my stitching is going to go outside those lines. So now we're all glued up and you can see how these bags will fit on the bike with the seat in the middle, the straps over the top and you've got your handy tie straps at the bottom that you can tie around whatever you want to secure the bottom. If you're not worried about securing the bottom, that is to say if you're carrying something heavy all the time, don't worry about those straps, you won't need them. I used to have a pair of leather saddlebags and they did not have a strap and they were absolutely fine. So let's move on and we're going to do a bit of sewing. Now what I've got here is an ordinary needle. I think you can see it there and it's got a piece of doubled up thread on it and this is button thread, the sort of thread you use for tying buttons on. It's very very strong and I've doubled it and then what I've done is I've just tied a simple knot on the other end to stop it from pulling all the way through on the first stitch. The other thing you might find you need is a pair of pliers. Um, I probably won't do on these bags because they're foam internal straps, some straps have different material and you might find it difficult to pull the needle through rather than mess your fingers up it's a lot easier just to use a pair of pliers. So 
So here we go, and I'm going to start at this end. And basically, all you do is you go up through all the layers of material and padding in the place where you didn't have the adhesive, and you go back down. And this is the first stitch. So the first stitch is going to pass through basically in between the two threads so that the knot locks it tight. So pull it nearly all the way through then find the gap between the two threads put it in so it's tight and it creates a kind of slip knot and just pull that tight and that's your first stitch next stitch up from the bottom and you're stitching in a, just a normal stitch will do because we're going to do other things with this so that's my second stitch. As you see, I've done nearly half an inch with two stitches. Um, it's not that important to be honest, the glue will hold it quite well and so will the stitching. So, here's a little tip. If you've got something like this that you absolutely don't want to fail, every fifth stitch you tie it. And here's how you tie it. So I'll come up and I'm just going to take a little cross stitch in here. As you can see that's made a loop which you pull tight slowly otherwise it'll all get tangled up and then you've got half a reef knot on there and you just go back through the loop you've just made and do another one and then you've got a really secure knot about every half an inch or so and that's all there is to the sewing so I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me do this for half an hour so I'm going to do this and then come back right here we are all stitched up in a moment we'll go outside and have a look at them on the bike. I just want to explain a couple of things first. First of all a really cool feature with most of these bags is they've got loops on the top and loops on your luggage are really useful. You can pass a bungee cord through them for extra security. You can tie things to them if you've got another bag you want to put on top of your seat. Here's some tie points. Now these straps at the bottom here um, I'm actually probably not going to use them and uh, I'll keep them on here just in case because you never know I might change my mind about that and I'll just roll them up and stuff them in the side pockets uh, probably tape them as well which is an old army trick when you make a roll of something don't put an elastic band around it elastic bands break put a piece of electrician's tape around it it's much more secure so, without further ado, let's go out and have a look. Hello again, Holly here. Now, I know lots of you naughty, naughty people have been wanting to know who I am, but I'm not going to bore you with the sordid details. Instead, I'm going to tell you why you should subscribe to Arduinotronic today. And trust me, there are so 
so many good reasons. Are you sitting comfortable? Good. Because I freaking say so. All right?